Hi everyone, it's Connie again. I'm a writer at JetPens and a major fountain pen enthusiast. Today, I'm going to show you my entire fountain pen collection. Let's get started. First up are my Coveco Sports. I have the iridescent pearl sport with a broad nib and an ale sport with a double broad. The ale sport is a Dutch exclusive from a few years ago. The sport has a compact design that's easy to slip into a pocket, but you can post the cap to extend it to a full size pen. Next are my Lamy Safari, also a broad nib, and the All Star with a 1.1mm calligraphy nib. The Patrol, and yes, I have a second Patrol inspired pen, is a 2017 limited edition. It originally came with a medium nib, and the All Star had a fine nib, I think. The great part about Lamy's Safari style pens is that you can swap the nibs very easily. If you're wondering, I use a lateral grip rather than a tripod grip, but the Safari's molded grip doesn't bother me. Of course, I have a Lamy 2000. It was released in 1966 with the Bauhaus School's principles of design in mind. I'm a big fan of mid-century modern aesthetics, and MCM pulled lots of inspiration from the Bauhaus School. The oblique double broad nib is a joy to use and puts down a lot of ink. I really like the size of Pelican's smaller piston filling pens, so of course I have two of them. The Pelican M205 Aquamarine was a limited edition from a few years ago. It's very simple, but it works well. No offense to the rest of my pens, but I think the M400 Tortoiseshell White is the best looking pen in my collection. I just love the way the barrel catches the light. Ooh. Next, two Sailor Pro Gear Slims. Okay, the first one is kind of unique. It has the body of a Sailor Pro Gear Slim, but with the Nagasawa Original Pro Skate Music Nib and Converter. I just realized I like the flat tops more. Go figure. Sailor makes Nagasawa's fountain pens, so that's why the parts are swappable. The music nib is basically a double broad stub. I like stubs more than italics because they feel less sharp and are a little more forgiving. This is another pen that just pours ink. I can sometimes have this ink for maybe a week or two and then the converter's almost empty. The second Pogear Slim is the limited edition Nebula. I love this blue green color and it has little metallic flecks sprinkled throughout. This is a broad nib, which honestly is more like a European medium. This might be the finest pen in my entire collection. The Pilot Custom Heritage 92 is my only Pilot fountain pen, surprisingly enough. It has a broad nib, of course. It's really hard to find Japanese piston filling pens, and I think this might be the only one we carry. I've had this pen since I was in college. I'm glad to still be using it. Finally, the last three pens in my collection. A Twisby Eco, Diamond 580 AL, and 580 ALR. None of these colors are available anymore, but Twisby releases limited edition colors pretty regularly, so check our website if you want to see more. I really like the color of the J Eco. It's no longer available, but a very similar color that also glows in the dark was just released. The broad nib is surprisingly broad and has great flow. I love the entire 580 lineup because they're just very affordable workhorse pens. You might notice that the grip section on the 580 AL is a different color. I bought a custom nib which only fit on the older Twisby grip sections, so I just transferred it over to this pen. It's a really interesting soft italic that has a few quirks, but I like it overall. The 580 ALR has a broad nib, which actually feels like a broad. Sometimes Twisby's broad nibs are closer to mediums. Twisby, if you're listening, I will personally buy a billion double broad nibs. Please. And that's everything in my pen collection. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. So if you watch Stephanie's video, you'll know that she had like a beautiful pen roll. She stores all her pens in. And I have this. It's very dusty. And I'm sorry. <laughs>